started. Number one is the famous prayer plants. Um, in the prayer plants, as I've said before, there is Calathea, Maranta, Stromanthe, and Tenanthe. They are all very good. If you are just beginning, I would start out with a Maranta. They're easier, they don't cost very much, and if you can, and they're pretty easy to take care of when it comes to prayer plants. Uh, these guys do really well in their low light. They it can stunt them, which most of these plants will stunt in low light in long periods of time, but they will do okay. Number two is the famous Sansevieria's snake plants. Now snake plants, you can just throw them in a dark corner and they're going to stay alive for you. Throw them in a closet for a month, they'll still be alive. It's amazing. They won't grow much, but maybe that's what you want with your snake plant. So mine, that's what I want, so I'll throw them in the darkest corner I got. So, number two, snake plants, because they do amazing. You don't have to water them much, and they just... The green. Number three is the famous Aglaenema, another low light favorite. Now, Aglaenemas, or Chinese evergreens, do very well in low light and they actually do grow in the low light, as I have found. I used to have one, I used to have a plant stand in here right over there, and it would, actually, it was right here, and it, would, and it had all these plants on it. There was no grow light on the top one. And the window, it didn't reach up there because it was above the window. And that thing still grew. And right now it's just got a little bit of grill light going at it, but it's growing. And it's amazing. I've got that wintery wine house downstairs. I really need it. And it's doing great. Number four. Another very famous one. The ZZ plant. ZZ plants, they will grow a little bit in the low light, but they won't grow a lot. They can be, they can stunt, but they will do, they'll be all right in the low light. It's another famous one that you don't need water much, especially when it's in low light. Remember, any of these plants don't need water very often if they're in low light. So if you're going on vacation, I would recommend closing the blinds on your windows because since this may be in darkness, shut off your grow lights. Although I'm probably going to leave mine on. I haven't decided yet. I don't know. So, ZZ plants. Number five. Another famous one, the spider plants. Chloroportum camazom. Um, I have most of these plants I have. And I could show them to you one by one. But sometimes it's easier just to throw the pictures out. Sometimes. Other times, not so much. But anyways, number five is spider plants. And they do amazing and they do amazing in all types of light, but low light, they still will grow, they'll still look nice, and they'll stay alive. Another one that you don't have to water very often because they're fibrous roots. Seems to be another theme of this video besides the low light thing. is plants that don't need water very often. So, there you go. Maybe I should put that in the title too? I don't know. Number six is bromeliads. Bromeliads, I've had a couple. They're kind of more of a temporary plant, so they're really good if you want to get something for low light. I, They're not really for long term. They're not supposed to be long term. So what they do is when they're about ready to die, they shoot out. They have this thing that shoots out, and you can take that and pot it, and that's supposed to be the next plant for it. And then the other, and then the original dies. Uh, I had a shootout, but I, don't, I think my shootout died, so... I'm kind of left with no bromeliads. Then I had three bromeliads, but they they were in very bad sh shape during due to shipping, so they didn't last. So I've had bromeliads, but they're not worth it. But if you need a little light option, go ahead. Seven, spathylums, peace lilies. Now, some people might say, well, low light, they're not going to bloom. Let me tell you something. They're probably not going to bloom anyways. Because even in high light, they don't bloom very much. Sorry, medium light. Because, because they don't like that high, high light. Um, because the thing is that nurseries pack them full of fertilizer so they are producing these flowers for the first couple of months. But when the 
fertilizer runs out, the plants just are green or variegated depending on what you got. So it's not worth the trying to get it to bloom. It doesn't really want to bloom for you. Number eight, Wandering Jew, the Tradescantias. Now, the thing about these plants is if they're in low light too long, they can start browning and they can start not doing well and they can eventually die. Um, but it'll be a fair, and it will be very slow. You can leave them there for a couple of months, but then I'd move them to get some more light. And something else, though, if you're in low light, if you have a low light situation, add some grow lights. Definitely get some aesthetically pleasing ones because don't get the right ones, only blue ones. I've got both. One side of the room is blue, the other side is red. I hate it. I gotta do something about it. I just haven't found grow lights that I can transfer everything out with. Plus, it's gonna be a big pain to do. Number nine, Kothos. Kothos. Good and uh, very, very one that's been known. Pothos and philodendron can do very well in low light. Sorry, allergies. Um, so, just another option. And ten, or sorry, eleven, Monstera. Monstera Pilosiosa Bortiana, to be precise. And in Sony, I will hate you if you put them in low light. They really don't like it. Believe me, they don't. They'll hate you. Uh, but Gulliciosa might stunt, but they are grow little leaves without demonstrations. But it'll be all right. It'll do okay. So there's your list. There are definitely more plants that I'm thinking of right now that I could add to this list. But I don't think I want to because most of them would do a lot better in medium light. I'm looking around, I can see a couple that would be all right for all, but they wouldn't like it for very much, for, for very, very long at all. So I would, I'm not even going to recommend them. Anyways, thank you for watching. I will see you on my next video. I think this is a Wednesday video. Next one will be on Friday. Saturday. Bye.